So I'm, I'm Rodrigo Canquiroga. I'm a professor of engineering here at the University of Leicester. How would you describe this project for Beyond Text in a nutshell? The starting point for me was in neuroscience we have to learn a lot from artists because they seem to know a lot of principles of visual perception, at least intuitively, that we are kind of like exploring with our experiments. The idea was to get in touch with Mariano Molina, uh, also from Argentina, he's a visual artist. So, I mean, we, we got the Follow on Beyond Text Fund to put together a set of pieces, art pieces, which, on the one hand, I mean, they are nice artworks, but on the other hand, they also show some basic principles of neuroscience. So can you explain what you're trying to do with Mariano's pictures, what message you're trying to give out? It's just trying to create the first bridges between two completely different and orthogonal disciplines like science and arts. So what we're doing with Mariano is, I mean, Mariano is trying to create new art pieces using principles of neuroscience. So, for example? For example, occlusion. So if something covers something else, we know that the first thing is, I mean, closer to us than the second one. So and if you start using this in paintings, as Mariano did, then you can start creating this impression of depth in, in paintings. So there are, there are some of the, the things that he's doing that uses exactly this principle, occlusion. Other principles, I mean, another one that is a little bit more complex is called binocular rivalry. And the idea is that uh, the information we get from both sides converges in the brain. And from this, we get a 3D picture, like, I mean, we, we can see in depth. Now, if you suddenly show two different images to each of the eyes, the brain gets confused. And what happens is that the brain will switch from one image to the other. And this we can very easily create by using like these 3D goggles we use know, to see a 3D movie. So if you do that, and if you have a canvas that is painting with exactly these colors, you will see, I mean, if there's something painted in one color and something else painting in the second one, you will see these images alternating in your brain and they alternate randomly. And the amazing thing for me is that you're just seeing a canvas. It's something that is not changing. I'm Mariano Molina, visual artist. I come from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Well, he explained me these visual perceptions. We discussed together about how to apply them. And then I thought a way to, to apply these principles in an image. I thought maybe how to use two different colors because one should be transparent in order to show both images. Uh, because if, if I put an opaque color over the other one, uh, the, this principle will disappear. So what I did is I put one, one image in one color and then I built this uh, color transparency and I uh, apply it over the first one. The one that as I came in to see you today, you were working on on your screen, or you were you were creating. Yeah. Is one image, and in the middle of that image, we have a circle with lots of dots in it. What can you can you talk me through, Rodrigo? What principle that is? Well, it's kind of like if you see that you see like this this pattern of dots. You see them kind of like vibrating, and it's it's the same idea that for me it's kind of like spectacular. I mean, it's something that is at the end of the day is painted in a canvas, and suddenly you see that there's a piece of of the canvas that is kind of like I don't know, beating, like vibrating. And what, and what is going to happen to these canvases when you've finished? Mariano. I'm making as much pieces as I can do in this term. And then we, we will make a selection of them to, to show in an exhibition at Embrace Arts. That's here in Leicester at the yes. university. So the idea is to show the paintings that Mariano has been doing in these months and at the same time to show how principles of visual perception works. And then you can see it in action. I mean, you, you don't, you're not reading a textbook about neuroscience, you're just seeing Mariano using these principles and creating the, the type of stuff that we know in neuroscience. For example, so, I mean, this, this canvas is a, is a picture of Mariano and, and myself, and it's kind of like summarizing our interaction. So on the one side, I'm kind of like drawing a neural network, and this is uh, something adapted for very famous drawings from Santiago Ramón y Cajal, who is the godfather of neuroscience. And this pattern of neurons interconnected with each other somehow morph into a pattern resembling what Pollock did, Jackson Pollock. And Mariano is painting Pollock pattern on, on the other side of the painting. And we are out of focus, so this 
gives the impression that as we are somehow on the back of that. And then we have a second version where we did some very minor changes, but the perception is completely different. So the idea is that now, instead of being everything in a plane, now we are in focus, so this is bringing us more to the forefront. On the other hand, we are occluding part of it and we are not occluding other parts. So this gives kind of like a 3D feeling. And, I mean, the long-term goal is, is like, I mean, if people get interested, I mean, maybe to... I mean, to, to rotate this exhibition in different places. Well, I mean, one, one of the nice things about the, the Beyond Text program is that it was something we were needing to create this first park to trigger these interactions that we wouldn't have come with, I mean, with the standard grant sources. So there were not many possibilities for starting these collaborations. And I think the Beyond Text was crucial. I really like this approach. It's like, well, there can be a lot of scientific study, a lot of science to do with arts that doesn't need to be as a book. I mean, it could be the type of experiments we're doing with Mariano.